Morning guys. Right, just doing a um vidlog. <laughs> I've been watching a few other the people I follow and um everyone seems to be putting up a vidlog so I thought I'll do one as well. And funnily enough there was a knock at the door and um along came my polls. Now I don't know if you uh you know or I don't know if you've seen it on my any on my Facebook page or anything that um I bought myself a new tent or set down tent but a bigger one freestanding awning for my van and um, I was putting it up and uh, the wind caught it <laughs> and it broke five poles <laughs> so um, yes it was a bit of a disaster that because I thought well I'm gonna have to see if I can put it up on my own because you know if I go away then obviously if I'm on my own I've got nobody to put it up with have I so I've got to do it myself so anyway I tried it and the wind caught it so I now know that it's not a tent to be put up in mildly windy conditions so I'll, I've learnt by my mistakes anyway here it is here's my um, here are my poles now there should be I think there's eight in there so hopefully we'll have enough to do that um, what I might do is throw up a little video on how to uh, how to redo your poles as well so I suppose that might be quite useful anyway right I suppose I better get out and get on with it I suppose as it's a nice day today and um yes if I can get this done then I'll, I'll show you the tent so we'll see how we get on this pole so now this is this is one of the ones from the other awning I had and it, it's only just got it's only got one pole broken I've got another five of these to do yet on the other one but um I'll show you what I do and how I do it get yourself a kit like this you can see that one it cost about nine pounds. I think it came off eBay. But, um, you've got everything you need in there. Um, you got your bit of elastic that goes up through the middle if you want to replace that. You get some spare poles, and most importantly of all, you get yourself a nice thin piece of wire like this, with a little hook on the end, which basically you use to re-thread your elastic back up through the centre of the pole. Now, this is essential because you won't thread it up through without one of these. So straighten that out. Get that nice and straight. Right, now the tools I use, a pair of scissors, a pair of mole grips. Or any sort of clamp. Right. Now go to the last one before or after the one that's broken. In this case, it'd be this bend here. Do is pull out, with, pull out as much as we can without elastic, without pulling out too much. Obviously, you're just going to break it. Is. 
almost the end. Right, got to chop this one off now. Cut that off. Right, that's that one off. Now, make a note of the poles as they come off. That one. Right. Put that one tight. And go back to this one. Not a lot of good, really, that one. Right, I hit the new pole. Which in this case is this one. Um, as you can see, they're a different length. No. What I'll have to do now with this one is um, trim it to length. So if you mark it, put it in the vise, and then um, cut it off with a hacksaw. Make sure you've got a nice clean end and be careful when you're cutting it because I can tell you from bitter experience if you splinter this carbon fibre and it goes into your hand like a, like a um, splinter it'll hurt. <laughs> Been there done that. So um, make sure when you've have cut it you just sort of burr off the ends a little bit just take the burrs off so there's no sharp edges. You can see that one there, look. This is a brand new pole, and there's a sharp edge on there already. You can see that. You see that bit there? See that bit sticking up there? Now that, if you get that in under your skin, that'll hurt. And it won't come out like a splinter will. So, let's go and cut these. Mark them up. Same size. Them off, put them in the rice and cut them. I've cut this one and I've just sanded off the edge. Can you see that? I've just sanded the edge off with a bit of sandpaper just to take off the rough edges. Like I said, the last thing you want is to get those bits up inside your skin because that hurts. What we've got to do now is straighten them back in. Make sure you put them in the right way. Now, you can try threading it in with this first. If it doesn't work, use a piece of wire. My, my fuzzy pose, my back's going on me. Oh, my back's gone. And I just do this in pain. Now I've started it and I will blink it while I finish it. Right, what you do is you slip that onto the end of there, like that, and you thread it through here with this. Like that. Put your wire in there. The idea is, you see, is you better fold it over slightly on itself, like that. So you can see that, put a little loop in it, and then hook that on. So as um, as it goes through, it folds over on its, the, 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 the pole goes over on itself like that to stop it slipping off, technically. Yes, that worked. Right, slide it back in there. So a lovely night in the end, and that's it. I want to get the hole as close. To, I want to get the knot as close to the end as possible. If you can, if you want to do two, that's probably better. Just make sure it doesn't go back through. Obviously, putting in, double the knot up. That's it. Job done. 
Right, tidy that bit up on the end. You don't want a bit of loose elastic flapping about. Let's uh, tidy that bit up. There we are. That's it. Hole's done. Right. Cheers guys, thanks for watching. Hope that was useful to somebody. Um, right, go do the other five now. And I'll show you me um I'll show me a tent in the next vid. So uh, see you then. Cheers for now. Peace and every step.